Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our No Shot campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty, Legendary Iron Man with permanent dark events and the side condition that not a single shot can be taken or explosives can be used. Well, I got some good and some not so good news. Let's start with the good news. Um, after extensive research and then effectively being forced to test it myself, I can with confidence say that the sarcophagus can be damaged with both uh, void rifts and uh, null lances. Both of them can damage mechanical units. The sarcophagus itself uh, counts as a mechanical unit, which is out of melee range, so you cannot attack it with melee. Um, it can not be attacked by um, by anything but uh, bullets or psi abilities. So that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is that means we will need to kill the Chosen quite often. I will try to get a team together that is really focused on getting her down as well as possible. And we want to eliminate the assassin now before sh uh, she effectively shoots us down. So Hawkbite is going to lead the charge at Galleon Poe and Noxus and need to join. Uh, Sane will be uh, with us there as well. And let's maybe get a second specialist in there. Jammer makes sense. The reason why I want to have two specialists is because I want to have four uh, charges of healing uh, times two. Uh, so that we can really sustain against the Chosen. Once we're in the final chamber, there's really no like getting out of it. Either us or the Chosen leaves the chamber and it would be a pretty fatal blow uh, losing all of uh, the soldiers right from the get-go. In terms of just overall attire, let's maybe consider giving our newfound uh, Serpent Suit to our Psy operatives. So Dark Noxus now has a fantastically looking suit, um, complemented by that mind shield at Galleon Poe, takes mind shield and pretty much a mimic beacon. Yep, that sounds like a good idea. Hogbite, definitely a mind shield for good measure. And I think we could use another mimic beacon. Yeah, we got one here. You know what? Mimic Beacon is better than uh, the Skull Jack. So we're going in with three Mimic Beacons, a lot of uh, Mind Shields, just so that the Harbor Wave and so on will be kind to us. Can we get the final Mind Shield? No, we can't. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. We're going to take the Fusion Axe with us so that we can essentially throw the, the Axe um, and damage the sarcophagus a tiny bit more. Technically, um, Comet Protocol might work against it. I haven't tested that. It's a mechanical unit at the end of the day, so it should be able to be damaged by Comet Protocol. So I'll just leave that open, and we're going to try to kill the enemies without utilization of m many resources. Um, is there anything that we've forgotten? No, probably not. This is going to be a hell of a ride, guys. If we can only hit it uh, with psionic powers, our um, our null lens does 6 to 9, our uh, void rift 2 to 3. So at best we can deal like, what, 15 points of damage, so between 10 and 15 points of damage. And the Sarcophagus, I think, has 50, if I'm not mistaken, or 60 points of uh, health. So we're looking at four, if not five, kills against the Chosen just to get her down. Okay, and we landed. So the idea is really to get through most of uh, the okay, next people. rooms here without much of uh, utilization of anything 
but uh, cooldowns. So cooldowns are okay. Um, any form of med packs, mimic beacons, and whatnot should not be used. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this day. All right, Dark Tower. Positions himself nicely over there. Eva just moves straight in Good front go, of go. Uh, the door. I'm all over it. And I think Sane could just stand over Only here for now. Alright, we're not overwatching because we don't want to uh, break the vow to not shoot. So it's overhunkering. Alright. Let's see. You have forced my hand. I can afford to give you no Moving in. But essentially triggering nothing. That's interesting. Could move to here. That's just a assembly facility. So it almost looks like well, this is the right way to go. Is it clear? Very good. I see the path. Moving up with Hogbite. Roger that. Noxus and Edgallion Pope are taking two positions. Jimmer over here. And Sane. Can take a position Rebel. over here, really in the back uh, back line. I want to be mindful that theoretically we could be ambushed from the side. All right, so far, in no indication. To come here to face me. You squander what time you have left. You are not worthy of this world. So far, I'm not seeing any signs of enemy activity in here. Just checking if all of these fields are taken. Uh, or are open. I should rather say. It seems that none of them are taken. Advent force is sighted. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. There we go. Nicely moved up. And let's maybe start with the obvious uh, things. Full mining, by the way, would be fantastic. Not sure if the purifier is the best target. Shield bearer would definitely be a little bit better. Too bad we have um, put the school Jake also on the same guy who has haywire protocol, right? Well, it is what it is. So let's do the obvious here. Give aid protocol to Divert. Then we're haywire protocoling. Can we take it over or should we shut it down? I think controlling might be enough for now. I really want to make sure that we're not using any Mimic Beacon. Eh, I could have been more greedy, but it's okay. Better be safe than sorry on this particular time. Well, I could have also used Stasis. Nah, silly me. Could have done that better. All right, so technically speaking, this here would be a nice hit. Almost setting all of them up for a follow-up attack. Yeah, let's do that. Could have moved into full cover.
Very nice. That's some pretty solid damage. Moving over. Could have stasis someone. And maybe I'll... Hmm. Let's think about that. Can stasis the purifier and kill him next turn without much of a problem. In the meantime, this here should get us started. This world is ours. Gotta collect more focus. Fantastic, that was good. There we go. And we got some parry going. That's unfortunate. Super is taken out. Could have, by the way, take it, uh, done that and still damaged the other guy. So action economy in this particular case wasn't really done super well. Again, I want to make sure that we're not using any of our cooldowns. That was the highest priority. And I think we're in a really good spot here. So, nothing to add, just end the turn. Shipera should be killed by double Bladestorm. No, of course not. Because he decided to not move. Clever little bugger. Alright, so that's not too bad. That's a nice little setup for Null Lens. That's an explosion without a problem. Fantastic. We could school mine. But there is no real need to do that. Oh, to six points of damage, there is a 66% chance that we actually will kill him. Um, I like the odds. We're going for it. Very nice. Fantastic. Psy operatives showing their strength. At the same time, we're trying to get the mech down. Damn it. Do we need team to work at a later stage? Hmm. Should be fine. I really want to make sure that we're not taking damage unnecessarily. And we're going back into cover. Wonderful. On my way. Closing on target Moving position over now. and ending the turn. <laughs> Let's wait one or more rounds until the Psyops will get their he cooldowns back. Destroyed your race with but a single command. Yet they and I think we need to go all the way down there. Good. Is it clear? What's over there? Front line is moving in. Heading out. Midfield is moving as well. And absolutely. We're just moving everybody into a solid position to make sure that they're not being flanked. 
End of turn. And let's wait one more round. Would it be so hard Two more rounds to be to precise. The elders, to believe for an instant that they fight for more than just a single world. That humanity is not the center of this universe, but just a small part of a greater whole. Now that's one of the problems that we're going to face in the end fight. These abilities just take an incredibly long time to recharge. The only way for your race to survive is to submit. And still, the elders offer you. We need the recon seal. Yeah, probably uh, um, we can use it in the last room. Hawkbite moves up. Got a nice little front line going there. The assassin continues to keep talking. Uh, we're okay so far. We're ignoring her rubbish about how we should submit in the end of the world. Instead, let's focus on getting to that room over there. So far, so good. Moving slowly up. I'm gone. I'm on it. All right. No, Luckily, no, no. the enemies are not exploding stuff. Elsewise, all of this cover here would be an absolutely night, an absolute nightmare to take. Good, there is yet another room here, but luckily the doors seem... Yeah, that door is open. But for your children's children, surrender, and they may yet live. Unfortunately, I don't see a way through here. So, I think the actual next step would be to go through this room. What are you expecting? That we're going to trigger something. What a complete surprise. At the same time, what a massive pack. Holy. These guys are very much immune to many of our abilities. That's a problem. But we got Inspire and Stasis, so we should be okay. On your order. Okay, so either way we could trigger Stasis. Yeah, you know what? Let's just start with that, shall we? Stasis, yes please. And we're going for another stasis on that Spectre. Fantastic. And now it's time to be a little bit more serious here. Done. Okay, can't really see the Templar. I would suggest the Templar just positions themselves over here. over here that way they should be able to be seen
The reason why I want to position there is we got an inspire lift over. There we go. With that inspire, we're getting another attack. And that's the kill we're looking for. Moving back out. Not the worst idea that way Shadowbound cannot immediately be triggered. And let's move over here that way if that specter moves in it would actually get at least hit once because it has lightning reflexes but lightning reflexes only works against the first enemy at, uh, at the first attack so it can't con uh, completely avoid all of the damage like we could Yeah, it's not going to shoot, so I don't need to use uh, a protocol. That was an okay round for being ambushed. There's the blade storm I was talking about, and we got one hit. In. Annoying Shadowbound. Gotta hate it. Yeah, hide back here. Nah, nah, that was bad. I was hoping they would hide a little bit closer. Unfortunately, they are not. Alright. Good. We're using sword fire because we need to kill this guy uh, quick. All right. He's unfortunately not dying. Let's see. However, we'll kill him, and we'll get a parry. I mean, we could swarm the Archon. I think that's the right way to uh, right way to go. All right, I'm gone. Essentially, swarming it. And using Blade Storm to kill it. Very nice damage, by the way. Fantastic. I absolutely love the performance of both of the um, Psyops. It's heartwarming to see just how well they are doing. I'm going to probably see another Shadowbound. This guy is burning. If we position ourselves here, well, it's out of line of sight, so the guy would need to move. And just in case it takes a shot, Hawkbite gets an aid protocol. The Archon is dead. Nothing that he can do. We let him survive. Let's close the door, 
that way we're reducing the chance for blazing pinions because the Archon cannot see us. And if he can see us, he'll he'll just use blazing pinions there. There we go, Archon down. Perfect. That's not Shadowbound. Well, lucky us. I suppose. Not a single point of damage. Fantastic. What a nasty pack. Okay, I... I would bet that that's the way to go. All right, so let's move in. We will still need to recover some of our cooldowns. That was a rather nasty pack. If you think about it, it's almost 100 hit points that we needed to chew through, plus lightning reflexes, plus defense, and so on and so forth. Not a very fun pack to deal with, specifically if you don't have blue screen rounds. Which the game sort of assumes you have at this point. When specters are right, coming I'll into go. play. Double time. I'm all over it. Good, two more turns for Edgallion Poe and yeah, four more turns for Dr. Naxus. The Null Lens really takes a long time Heading to out. recharge. Damn it. Okay, one, two, three. I like the Null Lens. It's just a lot of damage. And four. Good. Perfect. Let's open the door. That's the final room. I was right about the direction. What's over there? Moving closer, but not yet triggering anything. I hope it's worth it. Moving to position. Yeah, Absolutely. we're slowly but surely moving in. Understood. Moving out. Everybody took a blue move and we're ending the turn. There's something out there. Yeah, there's one more pack. I figured that that would be the case. All right, the pack is here. We can already see it. Let's trigger them. Blade Storm. Ooh. That, on the other hand, is a really good pack for us. That is a fantastic pack for us. <laughs> One down. Absolutely go. wonderful. And that, by the way, also gives us enough uh, corpses for for an upgrade. We're putting stasis out there. And next turn, we're going to circle him down. Is it clear? Ten four. Move, move, All right, move. everybody moves in. Stepping off. Fantastic. That was an easy pack.
All right, soul firing. Let's just soften this guy up. More soul firing. And let's give the kill to our ranger. Because Diva still can level up quite a bit. No need to give all of the kills to Hogbite. <sighs> Diva, you had your chance. You had one job and one job only. And you fucking uh, blew it. Well, at least Hogbite knows how to do it. Okay, there is still a pack around. I'm not particularly keen on fighting it. That seems reasonable. And why would we? We've done everything that we need. We have not one. used a single consumable. The only thing that we used was one um, bond cooldown. Good, let's take a look. Two more turns. And two more turns. Okay, cool. We are at the half hour mark, and I know that this is probably the worst time for a cliffhanger. Or maybe the best time. You guys will potentially love it when that uh, airs, uh, that you don't see the reveal. But I know that the chosen fight will take quite a bit of time, uh, specifically since we will need to kill her multiple times. So I'll call it um, a night for today and we're going to see each other in the next mission. If you enjoy the content and if you're routing for me downing the chosen, then please leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear how often you think I'll need to kill her in order to kill the sarcophagus at the end of the day. Take care and have a great one. See you next time. Bye-bye.